autoimmune diseases affect 50 million people in the United States, with rates rising globally. An inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD as it's also called, is one of the most common types. IBD is composed of Crohn's disease that affects any part of the gastrointestinal tract, ulcerative colitis that affects the colon, IBD is caused when the barrier between our gut and the microbes that live there breaks down, leading to chronic inflammation and cycles of flares and remission. Before modern treatments, mortality was often greater than 50%. Common symptoms of IBD include abdominal pain, diarrhea, gastrointestinal bleeding, and weight loss. Patients often present to the doctor with a constellation of these symptoms, but the ultimate diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease relies on performing an upper end endoscopy and or colonoscopy, analyzing the biopsies under a light microscope. These images are essential for patient treatment as they guide not just the diagnosis of IBD, but also what drug treatments are best suited for the patient and whether the patient is likely to develop colorectal cancer. The risk of colorectal cancer can be up to twofold higher in IBD patients, but this cancer is actually highly treatable if detected during early screening. Worldwide, pathologists have collected millions of gut tissue images across hospitals, making these images a treasure trove of data and an enormous opportunity for machine learning to impact patient health. Even more exciting, the revolution in genomics over the past 20 years enables us to measure genes directly within these gut tissues, showing us functional details a pathologist cannot see and providing an opportunity to uncover the pathways that really drive disease. Spatial transcriptomics offers a unique opportunity to look at how these individual cells or groups of cells interact with each other allow us to identify unique or novel starting points for developing better choices of drug treatments. But they're very expensive and time intensive to obtain. What if we could connect the tissue images routinely collected by pathologists with these less available spatial measurements? The resulting high-resolution view of IBD could really improve patient diagnosis, better guide the choice of drug treatments, and help identify and start treatment of colorectal cancer earlier. This is where you come in. We need algorithms that can connect these different types of images, taking us from the tissue image collected by a pathologist to the high-resolution view of genes that are active in the tissue and are really driving disease. To validate your models, we will ask you to identify genes that are markers of potential cancerous regions in the gut, and we will then perform experiments to test these genes in patient samples. To make progress for IBD patients and better detect inflammation and cancer, the Eric and Wendy Schmidt Center, together with the Claremont Cell Observatory at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, and in collaboration with the Crunch Foundation, are hosting the Autoimmune Disease Machine Learning Challenge. Machine learning challenges or competitions are an increasingly important way to direct machine learning and AI enthusiasts towards scientific discovery. In these challenges, participants from academic institutions and companies, they will develop solutions for data-heavy problems. In this specific project, Autoimmune Disease Machine Learning Challenge, we are inviting participants from all over the world to design algorithms that pull out unprecedented information from pathology images and aid early detection of cancer in IBD. Now, this machine learning challenge is unique in that the predictions from the top submissions will be experimentally validated in the lab. So your algorithm could actually change the course of how we detect cancer in IBD patients. You might be wondering, is biology experience required for this challenge? It is not. We're going to provide a biology crash course together with the data. All that is missing is you and your algorithms. Participants will predict the expression of genes in IBD tissue, starting from the tissue images collected by pathologists, and highlight those genes marking potential cancerous regions. 
Then we will test in the lab which genes best identify these regions in the inflamed gut. The challenge will take place in October of 2024. We will award monetary prizes for this challenge and the top participants will be invited to become an author on resulting publications. The code, data and algorithms from the challenge will be made open source for the community to use. Our inaugural cancer immunotherapy machine learning challenge that we held last year was highly rewarding, drawing in more than 1,000 people worldwide who applied their algorithms to an important biological question. And we now invite you to this new challenge. Your work may add a crucial stepping stone to the great scientific quest of improving treatment for auto-inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. Visit the Eric and Wendy Schmidt Center website today to register.